What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we have a Draco Zolt sweep. Draco Zolt, of course, is part of the uh, ugly fossils, as you guys sometimes call them. And uh, you know what? I think it's probably one of the better looking fossils, to be honest. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. So it does get an interesting move called Bolt Beak. Now, this is quite similar to Draco Fish's move, Fishius Ren. However, Fishius Ren is a water type, and this is an electric type. And also, um, it actually has a little bit... Uh, its speed's not too good, right? And it's also got the uh, ability uh, Hustle, too, so it can actually miss so it's probably not uh, nowhere near as good but i do have an interesting strategy uh, that actually made a lot of people rage quit and i really hope you people enjoy um if there's a pokemon you want me to do please leave below in the comment section of the video i'm really trying to cover all the ones you guys definitely want to see maybe we can cover the other two fossils uh, sometime down the track uh now my tongue still isn't actually uh, uh just just good at the moment so i'm gonna have to wait for another two days or so to do theme team so probably looking at sunday uh when i start them I'm, i do apologize for that i I cannot do a like a 20 minute intense narration it just hurts too much and i you know i'm slurring my words too much okay uh we have a battle these ones were on the um uh the ycom and we got a uh, a betty zietti lead now this is quite a scary lead to be honest and I've got my Swirlix as a lead. So what I'm going to be doing is setting up the uh, sticky web here to start things off with. And I've got an item with the uh, Focus Sash and Unburden. So I should be able to actually outspeed this thing as long as I don't get flinched right this turn. That's probably like the only thing. So I get critter. So I'm like, okay, I'm definitely not going to get flinched here because I've got critter, right? And I don't. <laughs> Half of you guys are probably expecting me to get flinched like, like <laughs> real talk. Anyway, so I've got my um, uh, Focus Sash burned up. So Unburden is going to be kicking in real hard. And then I get outsped. So I'm like, okay. This thing's got Choice Scarf. That's the only way it could have outsped me. So then I'm thinking, I had to think on the spot here. I had a random Nine Tails in my team, so I thought, I'm just going to throw this in, right? And what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to cause that Diamant to, to swap out of the battle because I can't swap Draco Zolt into this thing and then swap it out. So do a double swap and then get the sweep going. So uh, we got the swap there, uh, like I knew. And uh, now it's time for the big Draco Zolt. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, let's get to the next battle. Obviously, I just wanted to show that one because it was a complete just, uh, it sh just showed that set off really, really well and it was fairly unstoppable. Plus, that person DC'd halfway through the battle, so they had to get wrecked. Anyway, so let's get on to the next one. We got a Dragapult uh, lead here. Now, this is kind of a little bit of a harder situation than the last one. I couldn't just go for Sticky Web, right? Because I couldn't actually swap Dragozo into this because it'll get like one shot. So this time, I'm going to be going for a Yawn. So that's going to obviously make the Dragapult obviously swap or stay in. If it does swap, um, that's going to be good for me. I'll be able to get a Sticky Web up. If it doesn't swap, you know, the Pokemon will go to sleep, which will, you know, both occasions will be pretty good there. Now, uh, we got the uh, Dragapult swapping out, which I was kind of hoping, and now we got the Corviknight coming in here. So upon the swap there, I'm going to be going for the Sticky Web. Now, Corviknight's actually a pretty good swap in here for my Dragazolt, so even if I don't get a Yawn up or outspeed and get a Yawn up, it's fine. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get a swap against this Pokemon, right? Because i got the type advantage with the Electric. So going for the Yawn here on the uh, Corviknight, hoping I can at least get it off there. It'll be nice, and I do, which is nice. And uh, obviously, that's going to be asleep the next turn, and Corviknight is going to take my little cotton candy out with a Brave Bird. Now, the question is, people... Can we complete this sweep without someone disconnecting Salty at the end? Let's find out.
All right, people, I hope you enjoyed those two battles. And uh, man, that Drake has caused so many salty disconnections. They were like, um, I reckon I would have had at least 10 out of the battles, 10 to 15 uh, disconnections with this set once it got going a little bit. So let me explain my strategy. So as you guys can see, I've got the item of Blunder Policy and Hustle. These work pretty well together, and they also work pretty well with like a lower actually moves, like Iron Tail. And Iron Tail is also good against fairies. So we've got Bolt Beak, Dragon Claw, Iron Tail, and Low Kick. Let me explain the blunder policy. Now, if you do miss due to accuracy right, it'll actually activate the blunder policy and boost your speed two stages, which is really, really good right. And then you've got hustle. There's always a chance to miss with hustle, but I thought if I run Iron Tail, that'll give me a very, very good chance of missing right, activate my blunder policy, and then I can Dynamax and go for my Bolt Beak, Dragon Claw, Iron Tail, Low Kick sort of thing. Now, Low Kick is there just to boost my attack in Dynamax mode uh, with the hustle when it hits like very, very hard after even plus one even without that it still hits pretty hard but if you don't have the speed advantage um like a normal bolt beak may not take them out right so i definitely wanted to get the uh low kick uh dynamax going there so that worked really really well and we had the swellex to set up the sticky web too which was nice so once the sticky web was up and i had the blunder policy going there wasn't much that could outspeed me. It's only like weak priority moves and things like that, like eye shape now there was one instance where i had iron tail hit four times in a row with hustle like I was, you know, there, there was a lot of bloopers for this. Maybe, maybe, well, maybe sometime I can bring bloopers back. I'm not sure. The battles were just like, the, the videos would be really, really long though. So I'm sort of thinking how I could go about doing that. I, I sort of, I like doing the strategy, but I don't know. Um, do you guys want to see bloopers or not? I just have to think how I'm going to go about doing that. Anyway, so this thing's really, really good. Like uh, super, super good. So if you definitely want to try it out, you should. If you're going to have the air, so any kind of like speed at all, you could probably run air waste too with max airstream. That's another way of getting this like speed up. I definitely give that one a try. I did that already on another Drake Result set. Worked really nicely. If you don't want to go for the Iron Tail Blunder Policy thing, um, you could whack on another like a Life Orb or something like that and just go for it. That could be another uh, way to do it as well. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed both these battles. There's a lot of salt here today and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.